So I've had several people um, ask about the pitch and mod wheels with the Akai MPK Mini MK2 in particular, the MK2 version, and whether I ever got the pitch and mod wheels to work within reason. And I've done a lot of looking around online and I don't, I haven't really found too much of anything uh, as far as the MK2 version. It seems that someone had written a script for MK1, but it doesn't work for MK2. So it seems like there is no permanent solution, but I did find a, a kind of workaround. It's not the best thing at all. But if you're someone who really wants to have manual control over the pitch and mod wheels, this can work. Uh, it's a little bit tedious and inconvenient to do if you're going to be using it throughout your song. But I was able to get this done just by playing around with some settings. So. <laughs> So you can see I've got the control of the mod there by moving by me moving the Y axis on the Akai and on the X axis I've got control of the pitch bend. Now, uh, don't get too excited on this because the thing is, if I bring in, say, a Kong, and we've got MIDI directed here, you'll note that it's still controlling the Thor and not the Kong as we'd like. So what we have to do is when you're working on something and you want to change the control where the MIDI information is going, you're going to have to right click, edit remote, choose other MIDI control surface. And if you haven't set up the MPK Mini as a secondary control surface within your preferences, you're going to need to do that. And I have a video on setting that up. You should see a link here on how to do that. So you're going to have to do that first so you can have MIDI control surface. And then I'm just going to move this on the X axis. Choose OK. It's going to give me a warning saying that it's already mapped to the Thor, but we're just going to replace it. And now you can see I've got control of that pitch bend. Again, if we want to adjust the mod wheel, we'll right click, edit, override mapping, choose MIDI control surface. I'm going to just press up and then choose OK. Another warning because it's already mapped to the Thor. We'll replace that. I press up and I've got control there. So that's how that is done within Reason. I did have to make some adjustments within the MPK Mini Editor. So we'll take a look at that now. I'm going to close Reason. Actually, I'll just go ahead and um, open this up. Now I made the adjustments on program three. So I'm going to pull that program, which is on pad three here. I'm going to pull that from the MPK mini so you can see what I've done. So in options, device setup, I'm going to choose MPK, MPK, apply, OK. And then for program three, I'm going to get that. Now you can see for the joystick here, I've got CC1 on the x-axis and 126 I put that in now for the y-axis I put uh, CC2 and 127 down is 0 if we take that and put the, I think initially this is was on pitch bend you can see we don't ha have access to that other information but if I change it back to 
CC2. Then you have the up and down where you can enter in and I just I can't say that there's any particular reason why I chose 127 and 126. I mean, there is, but y y you could choose different um, numbers here between 0 and 127. But as I was fiddling, it seemed like these work best for the situation. So after making these changes, I then just sent those changes to uh, the Akai and did a program select and chose program 3 just to pull the new information in and be sure it's there. Now if you've already made adjustments to these other areas go ahead and pull that program from wherever you've set that up in program 1, 2, or 3, or 4 and then make sure you make these adjustments there if you're gonna do this you know do this at your own risk it worked for me but you know, I'm not guaranteeing anything for you. Uh, but these are the settings and just use it on whichever program you'd like to have it set. Be sure that you program select and choose that program once you've relaunched Reason. And then you should have control using the joystick, keeping in mind that you're going to have to set it for each device that you load within Reason in order to get it to work. But if you're someone that really wants to have that manual control, like I said, this is the only workaround that I have found. So I hope that's helpful and useful to some of you who would like to use the manual control.